Good afternoon. It is literally uh, two weeks since I stepped in the studio. And what I want to do to, um, on this anniversary of being in the studio is alchemy. I'm going to make some paint. Now I've been given some quite interesting ingredients from a mine um, by Rory, who uh, you heard on the last tape and I'm sure you'll be meeting soon. Um, he's a miner and um, he uh, has given me uh, some red lead, which is here. Um, okay, highly poisonous, highly dangerous. Um, and some other um, ingredients. Whoa, look at that. Okay, we've got it in a bag here. Look at this. Wonderful. Um, and that has already been prepared, so I'm just going to beat it up in with a mask. We've got the mask and the gloves, um, and we're going to make some paint, and uh, we'll see what happens. We've also got the third. I've got some other uh, stuff I've dug up here, but this is um, really quite special too that we dug up. Um, look, it's really wonderful kind of um, caput mortem kind of colour. So we're going to give that a go. Um, so I'm going to, I'm boiling that up at the moment. I've washed it, sieved it, and I'm going to boil it uh, until, until it's dry. And then I'm going to see if I can make paint. So that's coming along. And then these other two, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, a mask's off, everything. This is the, um, what I would call the um, Caput Mortem, so uh, Mars Violet that we dug up um, in the hill um, in Queenstown. Um, and it looks, um, it looks kind of like that. Um, I think this might make nice paint actually. Uh, it just needs to dry properly. Um, the next lot um, is this one which is that lump of stuff. And um, I've, got to, I've got to find out from Rory exactly what it is. And that made um, this kind of umber, uh, raw, um, raw umber. Then this is the red lead, which um, made a kind of a, a watercolory stuff here. So um, quite interesting, um, quite dangerous. Um, and we'll see. I'll have to experiment and see what happens, but I um, want to talk about a couple of other things now. Hi, I've just got a couple of more things I really wanted to talk about. Um, uh, one, uh, my family don't think uh, there's enough humour um, in, in these vlogs, so a um, couple of things. Um, I've been here literally, as I said, two weeks as of now and uh, I haven't seen a kangaroo, but actually I have seen a kangaroo, but it was dead um, in the road, a little one. So debatable whether I've, you know, kangaroos, they, they must be around here somewhere, but they are obviously bouncing around when I'm not around, which is interesting. Um, snakes, um, uh, I've met a snake, um, and when I saw the snake, which is about a metre up, up, up by the quarry, um, it was slithering away, and um, I thought it was quite big, being a, about a metre or maybe, maybe a bit more. It was a tiger snake, and um, I was assured that it, this was a very small snake, a very small tiger snake, a, 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 a little baby um, tiger snake, in fact, and that um, they go to about three metres, uh, about the width of my arm. Yeah, great. So that's, that's an interesting um, thing that I don't want to meet. Um, and the other thing is um, rain. Uh, on a number of occasions people are saying, well, how are you coping with the rain? Which is very funny, um, seeing as um, I know you're in sunny weather at the moment in England, but I've come from a very, very wet England of the last three years. So um, that's quite funny. Um, it does rain, it's just started raining a bit here, but, um, but not much. Um, so really, there were some things that I, I, I wanted to talk about um, that always comes up 
for us artists and a little bit coming up a bit here but not not really it's more is that when you're making these things um uh who are we making them for uh what's the purpose you know what's our intention and i think i come from the place that the artist uh as a poet uh like a musician uh, like a, a composer um a person who's carrying reflection on the world uh, a catcher of moods, um, uh, a translator of instinct, um, a consciousness, uh, a collector of the consciousness of, of um, the land, of uh, a listener to the soil, of the earth, of the clouds. Um, I think the artist anticipates, um, goes before, uh, catches ideas. Um, Winifred Beyond's idea uh, of thoughts looking for a thinker of what my last whole series of um, that I showed at Celia's uh, Celia Lenders Gallery of uh, thoughts in search of a thinker I think is is a profound idea. Um, I think it's a very noble profession being an artist, but I think we're very alone. I think there's a sense of loneliness of being. Um, I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be that way, but there is the sense that one is marinating on thoughts and ideas. Um, I don't think it's about, you know, it's always like, what do you mean by success? Success, I think, is in the, in the success of the idea of it, of you bringing, of making your thoughts visible, of getting this stuff here out. And that's really, we're making, uh, the purpose in a way is, um, we're making our thought, we're making our thought visible. Um, we're trans we're translating our reflections um, into into images. We're giving uh, we're giving our thought or we're giving thought a form, um, a reality. And that whole idea of beyond of um, of thoughts looking for a thinker is that the thinker who's looking for thoughts and catching thoughts. And I think that's really where I'm coming from about being in a new place. One can catch thoughts. I know you're probably thinking by this time, this man is completely bonkers, but I don't think it's quite like that. I think there is, I think in that idea, there's something very, very profound. Um, also, as an artist, we're, we're creating from nothing. I know we've got substance, we've got paint, we've got drawing materials, but we're creating from nothing. Things that what were not, we're bringing into existence. Um, and once they've been made, they have presence that are, are seen. Um, and um, I think it, it's like, I think living is much more, I think there's a complexity about living and I think there's a simplicity about living. Um, I think life has, uh, has many questions, um, just, as, just as death has many questions. Um, but I think avoiding death and I think avoiding that sense of, um, you know, how much time we've got and how much and what, we, what we're leaving behind. I think all those things are important. Okay, especially as you get older. Um, but, you know, what, what are we, what's it all about? Um, and the sense of living, the sense of being alive. Um, and I think that's, that is what goes into that, the, the, the pursuit of the artist, of the creator, of making things, of discussing things, on, on reflecting on these huge things, as well as humorous, as well as light-hearted. Um, yeah, it's the, it's about being alive, I think. It's about um, being, and that sense that one's pulling out part of your being, and it's, it, if you like, it's putting it in aspect, it's pickling it onto the, onto a canvas, or onto a sculpture, or onto it as a poet, or a musician. It's, it's, it's bringing a, 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 a three-dimensional, or a, it's bringing it into um, a sense of, of being. Um, so what's it for? I think it's, it's about being human. And I, think it's what, I think it's what we humans do. It's we make things. And um, we make things about spontaneously, instinctively. And, and there's that sense of... And, so sometimes they just pop out and sometimes they pop out and then we work on them and we reflect on them and we mould them and we change them. Um, because I think that's what we do as human beings. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm doing here. 
and coming to a new place, you see uh, you see things afresh with new eyes. Cezanne always talked about he w he wanted to wake up every morning with clean eyes, with fresh eyes, to see the world anew and afresh. Um, and going back to that bit that I talked about um, Samuel Beckett on Proust, it's that sense of it's remaining curious and remaining sharp to see things anew and see things afresh is the is the the art and the role. Uh, is a part of being and being an artist, the role of an artist. Yeah. So it leads to that question: Can all people be artists? I do think so, but I think I think like everything, it's it's a matter of choice and it's a matter of hard work, and it's a matter of um, pursuit, uh, which is um, which is hard. It takes time. Just going to show you around the studio, the latest work, and how the studio is at the moment. Um, so the big painting, that's as far as I've got. And then the new ones um, are these two. These are the new ones um, that's in a state of progress. And then... There we go. So that's um, the submerged piece coming along. Here's possibly um, what might become another triptych, the one in the middle. There we have it.